Now, social media is great for connecting friends and family, but having a profile on the Internet comes with risks. A local businesswoman says hackers gained access to her information through phishing emails. THV 11's Brooke Buckner shows us the impact and how you can prevent from falling victim too. Your account has been disabled. That's the message Tiffany Gerritsen gets every time she tries to log into her Facebook account. She says ever since she clicked on a link in an email five weeks ago, things haven't been the same. When I clicked this link, it gave the hackers access into my personal Facebook account where they proceeded to post a video that violated community standards. From here, that got my personal account disabled within three minutes. And because I had my business accounts linked to my personal account, my business accounts were also disabled. Now, more than a month later, Gerritsen's without Instagram and Facebook, and she says social media is her number one tool to promote her business to a tea boutique. Our sales have definitely decreased significantly, and um, we're you know afraid if this goes on for six months, it could really, really hurt us going into the holiday season. She says sales decreased about 50% in the last five weeks, and she's tried getting a hold of Facebook to get her accounts back. It's just a big waiting game. Kara Carlin with the Better Business Bureau says there are a few things you can do to prevent hackers from getting your account information. Never provide your personal information unless you can 100% verify the source. Use different passwords and secure passwords for each of your accounts. The single most important piece of advice that we can share in this regard is to enable multi-factor authentication. Save your videos, save your pictures, print them, put them on a Google Drive or just somewhere that's not Facebook because at the end of the day, you don't own your identity online. In Conway, Brooke Buckner, THV 11 News. Brooke, thank you. Now, if you receive anything that looks suspicious, Carlin encourages you to reach out to the Better Business Bureau before clicking on anything.